do nothing but clear the game without shooting. True pacifists. <laughs> but with that in mind,
interesting thing about Sho is that she's part of a Buddhist temple, but she's one of the disciples rather than the head of the temple, which means the head of the temple is worshiping her own disciples. And you'll also notice the little lamp in her hand. You might have noticed that Nasrin had that in her hand as well. The game starts out with Nasrin looking for that because Sho loses it all the time. And these are the Kirby lasers. These play. These are aided by. They, they are aided by practically everyone. Straight lasers, it's easy to judge the trajectory. Kirby lasers are here. Yeah, it's you. It's your mind plays tricks on you. You have no idea where it's going. Noteworthy about the stage music, by the way, which I forgot to point out, is that. Does a lot of really neat stuff with music, and um, in this particular case, the, those music bots out there, the stage music for this song the stage is actually in the living floor because Zoom does things like that. This is more, this is more of a straight but it's still a very good song. In fact, in fact basically everything is in this game. Also, for you uh, new, uh, newcomers out there, like, you may notice at the top, in a couple of seconds, there's going to be a name that shows up for a few seconds at the top of the screen. All of so this is like a, just a kind of regular boss move, but we're transitioning here. You know, the big boss moves. These are called spell cards. Uh, they're you know basically really specialized patterns that each of the bosses have that are personalized. To them. And so the game will actually the game soon actually assign to each of them a name, and they're in with basically whatever the theme of the character is. The game also keeps track of how many times you play the game against that particular bullet pattern and how many times you succeeded. If you can manage to, uh, you know, get the boss, yes. yes. If you can get the boss's life bar down without shooting or using a bomb to clear the screen, you get a score bonus. Actually dying. Or dying. Yeah. No, I'm related to that, but I just realized, like, with the way that the screen is happening, I thought it was an absolute justice spell card. It looked like DDR on the sun. Oh, this card is great. I love this card so much. Not everything is bullets. Sometimes the Jesus gets up to the scope of making reports like this. Oh. Yes, this. There are a lot of spell cards that are Yes. <laughs> Another noteworthy thing that you wouldn't think about going into these games is that it's when you have when you have stuff coming from just the fronts, it's you can kind of get a handle of it, but if you have equal and half density, you have stuff coming down from above and up from below. It's a lot more of a right screw. Yeah. It's just illustrating, yeah, it's gonna get very complex, very fast. Also there's story, but we don't pay attention. Try stage five or what? <laughs> <laughs> That's not. Yeah. 
of a certain color combination that you oppose. Like if it's all the same color or all the different colors. And a larger UFO will appear on the screen. This is a gimmick exclusive to this game because this game is called UFO. And what they will do is they will collect points and arms and whatnot. And if you shoot them down before they escape, yeah, there's one right now. There's a rainbow one. So you can see, you'll see it kind of sucked up all the arms in the area. But once you blow it up, you get more points, you get more arms. And it will also spin out extra UFOs. He made it to the mid boss before he died for Persona. That's pretty good. That's pretty good to be. Yes. This is the first time playing, yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Why do we always have one of those moments? We always have one of those yeah, moments. Yeah. Yeah. You can do that on the trip if you want to. You want the giant thing to start with. Ooh, the red 